24 hours ago, this Chow Chow came in, fits with saliva coming out from here, it takes saliva and not able to stand up and do it. Shaky, shaky, shaky. And uh, it happened uh, about 15 minutes ago. So I gave the William injection of Dizipan. I am and uh, we will be sent to the blood test and uh, with the IV drip. As to the cause of it, uh, we will perform the blood test. This is a Be Kind to Pets Veterinary Education video sponsored by Tobai Vets. Seizure in a chow chow. What is seizure? Seizure is a sudden attack of an illness. If it happens rapidly, the condition is called epilepsy. So, what causes seizures? First, genetic, which is inheritance, idiopathic, epilepsy, which is unknown, third, which is bacteremis, caused by bacteria in the blood. So, this is a case study of a five year old female chow chow. She came in with fits. She was unable to stand up and her whole body was shaking. Her saliva was drooling. History of the chow chow. This five year old female chow chow has this entropion with saliva coming out from here, thick saliva, and not able to stand up with the legs shaking, shaking, shaking. And uh, it happened uh, about 15 minutes ago. So I give the relay. So for five years, this dog is suffering from uh, irritation of the cornea, as you can see, because of the inrolling. Lower eyelid in row inside, it should, it should grow up like this. Uh. Okay, same with this eye as well. Uh, this is a very common problem in how Charles uh, and uh, sharp face as well. So, as you can see from here, he always has this eye infection. Now, with, with this entropion, entropion means in, in rolling of the eyelids. What is entropion? Entropium is the enrolling of the eyelid that causes eye irritation to the dog. Okay, now the other problem with this dog is the skin disease. There's a lot of skin disease, and uh, you can see that there's an infection, the ear infection. And uh, similarly with the elbows. Of course, the other cause could be hematitic mites, hematitic mange. But uh, if, you, if you want to keep a chow chow, you need to... to uh, the best is to sterilize. Uh, this chow chow is not sterilized. And uh, there's a lot of uh, infections going on. So I think the owner, the owner has given up on, uh, on the treatment. So you can see a lot of dandruff. Hair loss. So in some of these cases, this could be uh, the spaying the dog could, could uh, have resolved the skin problems because sometimes it's due to sex hormone dermatosis. Now this dog is also very thin and can feel the bones. And uh, today she has recovered from, from uh, the fits. <laughs> As to the cause of the fits, we will wait for the blood test results. I believe it will be due to the poor health status. Now you can see the mama is swollen, uh, swollen, and uh, she she might be on heat. She had she had false pregnancies some time ago. Surgery of entropium. Now there's a simple surgery where we cut where we cut the piece of skin here, cut here, one elliptical piece of skin and then stitch up and then the eyelid will not roll inwards, the lower eyelid will roll out. So when the lower eyelid rolls out, then the upper one also, you cut a piece of elliptical piece of skin here and stitch up, then the upper eyelid also roll out. And this, this dog will not have this problem of uh, of uh, eye infections and discharge. The eye will be like this, it's very normal, you see? 21 days later. 21 days ago, this chow chow, female, not straight, about five years old, came in with skin diseases and fits actually. The main problem was fits. 
the uh, and uh, was very bad, and the blood test shows very high white cell count, and also uh, neutrophils. So this dog had a bacterial infection and had, and it led to fits and a low glucose level. But now we had to take a blood test again to see whether the dog has recovered. But you can notice his eyes are clear now. There is no entropin. So now we are going to take take blood again to to review the case. And as you can see, the skin skin is much better. And uh, there's uh, a bit of ringworm still, but uh, not so much. The dog is still on ringworm medication. Uh, so, she, so my assistant will help hold the dog. Uh, and to take the blood again, the dog has lost a bit of weight, 1.4 kg. But overall, it's three times a day and definitely uh, it's much better. We take the blood from the vein, the back vein, the back leg vein. <coughs> and. Uh, there's one of the veins which we can take blood from. Hold the dog, the assistant holds the dog. Now you can see, although it had entropy early on, <coughs> it was sick so it had eye discharge. But now you can see the eyes are quite clear. Most likely the owner has used eye drops. Okay. This blood test results show that the Chow Chow actually had a positive result of a hypoglymia and a bacteria in 20th of September where the condition of the chow chow improved when it came in for consultation on 14th of October Tips and advices Chow chow need a lot of maintenance so if there is no maintenance you keep on scratching you see scratch until the whole uh, neck is infected and uh, Conclusion. So, uh, for, to keep a chow chow, you must actually uh, solve the problem of entropy so that she can she can eat, she can enjoy her life because it's very painful having uh, the eye discharge every day, a uh, thick eye discharge.